Budget phones have come a long way in recent years, and the latest Ulephone Note 16 Pro is a prime example. It offers not only a good value for money, but can handle everyday tasks with ease. In this video I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the brand new Yulephone Note 16 Pro. This phone is packing a mid-range processor, a long-lasting battery and a 50 megapixels camera. I'm going to put this phone through its paces to see how it performs in a variety of tasks and compare it with the older budget phones in the same class. I'll also share my personal experiences using the phone and give you my overall thoughts on it. Alright, let's open this thing up and see what we got. So inside this box we have the Note 16 Pro itself, all snug in its vinyl sleeves, a SIM card ejector, some paperwork like quick start guide, warranty card, compliance certificate and charging instructions. There's a clear vinyl case, a standard 10 watt charger, this is the UK version but it comes with the charges relevant to the country you buy it in. There's a USB-C to USB-A charging cable. I think that's everything you need to get started with your new Note 16 Pro. Let's take a closer look at the phone. The Note 16 Pro has a pretty clean and simple design. It's got a bit of an iPhone-ish look, but it's still its own thing. It's made of plastic, but it feels pretty sturdy. The back panel has smudge-free matte texture that feels great in the hand and provides a secure grip. The phone is surprisingly lightweight and thin, weighing just 184 grams and measuring 8.7 mm thick. This makes it easy to hold and carry around. The phone has a flat frame and rounded edges, both of which are comfortable to hold. The power button which also serves as a fingerprint sensor and the volume rockers are on the right side of the phone, while the left side houses the dual SIM tray and micro SD card slot. The bottom of the phone has a headphone jack, microphone, USB-C port and speaker. At the top of the display there's a water drop notch that houses the 8 megapixel selfie camera. Just above that there's a headphone speaker that also works as a second loudspeaker. The phone is available in three colors, black, blue and purple. Overall the design of the phone is pretty good and has solid build quality. The phone does not have an IP68 rating but it does have a P2i nano coating which helps to protect it from splashes and rain. This means you can use the phone in light rain or snow but I wouldn't risk getting it underwater. The phone has a 6.52 inch IPS LCD display, which is pretty good. It's got 720 by 1600 pixels resolution and 60 hertz refresh rate, which is above the standard for a budget phone. The colors look good and the viewing angles are pretty wide. It's bright enough to use outdoors, even in direct sunlight, and it comes with a pre applied screen protector so you don't have to worry about scratching it. The bezels are thin at the sides, but the bottom one is a bit thicker. Overall, the display is sharp and clear enough for most people's needs. It's not the highest resolution or refresh rate on the market, but it's more than good enough for watching videos, browsing web and playing simple games. The phone has Widevine L3 certification, which means it can only stream standard definition content from supported streaming services. But hey, let's not forget, it's a budget phone. Can't expect everything, right? The speakers on the phone are pretty good for the price. They're not gonna blow your mind, but they're definitely good enough for everyday use. They're fine for watching YouTube or streaming movies, and they're also good for phone calls. I can't really fault the speakers. They're obviously not the best on the market, but they're definitely good enough for the price. The phone has a dual lens rear camera system with a 50 megapixel main sensor and a 2 megapixel macro sensor. I'm hyped to put this camera through its paces and see how it performs. And before we carry on, make sure you're subscribed. 
The phone has a dual lens rear camera system with a 50 megapixels main sensor and a 2 megapixels macro sensor. I was skeptical about dual phone's camera at first, but my wife took some photos with it and they turned out pretty solid. The main sensor takes sharp and detailed photos in the bright daylight and it does okay in medium lighting conditions, but the quality does degrade in low light. Here's how the Yule phone camera compares to other budget phones, Hotwave, Humidity and Blackview. Yule phone and Humidity definitely take the best photos, Hotwave and Blackview are way behind. I'll be reviewing the other budget phones soon, so stay tuned. Here are the same photos taken with 5x digital zoom. The quality visibly worsens, but Yulephone tries to add some heavy processing to it. Let's take a closer look at how the zoom behaves. As you can see, the more we zoom, the more degraded the quality is despite the heavy processing. So my advice is, don't overuse the zoom. It can record 1080 pixels video at 30 frames per second. So let's compare the video quality of Note 16 Pro to some other budget phones. Keep in mind that the Yule phone doesn't have digital image stabilization, so the recorded footage is a bit shaky. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. By the way, when you open the camera app, you'll get a few photo modes, portrait, panorama, pro mode, night mode, HDR and AI scene detection. Just the essential basics, and I like it. Here's a comparison video of the Note 16 Pro and the iPhone 11 recorded simultaneously. I know what you're thinking, this is an unfair comparison, but the colors and image dynamic range are good, and the only real downside is the lack of image stabilization, but hey, it's a budget phone. Now let's quickly check out the macro camera capabilities. I didn't expect anything special to be honest, considering that most Android phones, even mid-rangers, have useless macro cameras. The OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite, which is three times the price of the Yule phone, has a 2 megapixel macro camera that's pretty gross too. So the 50 megapixels main camera is the star of the show. Now it's time to take a look at the selfie camera. The 8 megapixel sensor is sufficient for taking basic selfies in a bright light. The quality can drop in a low light, but it's still good enough for the video phone call in HD. The camera app also has some fun features like portrait mode or age estimation, which is a bit of a gimmick, but it can be fun to see how old the app thinks you are. It's turned off by default, so you'll need to go into the settings to turn it on. The phone supports 2G, 3G and 4G LTE networks, which is pretty standard for the phone in its price range. It doesn't support 5G, but that's not a big deal since 5G is still in its early stage of development. It also has Bluetooth 5.0 and GPS so you can stay connected and navigate your way around town. The phone runs on Android 13 with a few minor tweaks from Yulephone. The user interface is clean and simple with large icons and easy to navigate menus. The phone is powered by an entry-level Unisoc T606 processor, which is one of the best performing budget chipsets available. It comes with 8GB of RAM, virtually expandable to 16GB of RAM. This is a plenty of RAM for most tasks and it will help the phone run smoothly even when you have multiple apps opened. It also has as much as 256GB of internal storage, which can be expanded with a micro SD card up to 1TB. You can choose to use it for two SIM cards or you can use it for one SIM card and one SD memory card. If you're traveling a lot, you might want to use two SIM cards so you can have a local SIM card and a SIM card from your home country. The phone scored 165,000 points on the Antutu benchmark, which is pretty good for its class. It's comparable to all the devices in the same price range like the Blackview A85, Hotwave Note 12 and Humidity G3 Plus. And I'll be reviewing these other phones in more detail in my next videos this summer. I know there are more powerful phones on the market, but not at this price. Let's not forget that we're talking about budget phones, so it would be pointless comparing the performance of the Note 16 Pro to flagships like the Galaxy S23 or recent iPhones. Still, it can handle most everyday tasks without any problems. I tested the phone with a few popular games including Asphalt 9 Legends, Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG Mobile. The Asphalt 9 Legends ran smoothly at medium graphics settings, with no significant lag or frame drops. The game is playable and relatively smooth, with the default 30 frames per second, and the gameplay is fluid and responsive.
Call of Duty Mobile also run at low graphics settings but with no lag or frame drops. The frame rate is 60 FPS but it would drop slightly in busy moments. However, this didn't affect the overall playability of the game. The graphics are still good and the gameplay is fast paced and exciting. PUBG Mobile runs smoothly at minimum graphics settings, no visible lags or frame rate reductions. The frame rate is 30 FPS, but this is still playable for most people. The graphics are still good. Overall, the Note 16 Pro is a good phone for light gaming. It can handle most popular games without any issues, but you might need to lower the graphics settings for some more demanding games. If you're a serious gamer, you might want to consider a more powerful phone, but if you're into simple games like Candy Crush or Subway Surfers, these simple games will run like a dream on this phone. The Yule phone has a 4400 mAh battery that can last you up to 1.5 to 2 days even if you're gaming or doing other power demanding stuff. That's pretty good for a budget phone, especially since the standard battery size these days is around 5000 mAh. It comes with a standard 10W charger so it will take around 1.5 to 2 hours to charge from 0 to 100%. Unfortunately it doesn't support fast charging, but this is not a deal breaker. Overall the phone is a solid option, if you're looking for a budget phone that offers reliable performance, long battery life and a capable camera system, 8GB of RAM and Android 13. It's available for around $120 US, that's a pretty good price for the phone with this kind of specs. If you're looking for a new affordable Android smartphone that gets the job done, the Yule Phone Note 16 Pro is a good option. And if you're interested in getting it, there are affiliate links in the video description or you can just scan the QR code that pops up on the screen right now to get straight to the Amazon store. Thanks for watching, catch you guys on the next one.